It's actually within an AME member organization that, that, that I happen to be doing some work with. Um, it's a manufacturing company. It's in uh, Louisiana, the state of Louisiana. Um, and we're doing a Kaizen team. And they just started, they're new at doing Kaizen teams. They're learning about this uh, one week process improvement team. We're working on the manufacturing floor. And one of the things I like to ask people at the end of the week after we've done our presentation and management is what did you get out of this uh, one week experience? And so we're going around the room and people are talking about what it is they got out of it and we come to Pearly. And so Pearly looks at me, you can see that she's thinking and then she says, you know, I worked for this company for 25 years and this is the first time they ever asked me to think. And then she paused again and, and then she said, and I really liked it. <laughs> <laughs> And I think that so captures what this is all about. It's intoxicating sometimes when you do this because you literally see people grow before your eyes. It's like they stand up straighter. <laughs> they gain more confidence. And who wouldn't want to work in an organization where all of your employees feel that way? It's just stupendous. Well, one of the things we've struggled with for a long time is moving just beyond manufacturing. So the, uh, and also even within manufacturing, moving off of the floor to the total enterprise. So I think the future is going to be more focused on the overall business. And it's looking like we're going to be more and more inclusive of other industries. We had 200 people from healthcare here this year. We're talking about having 400 people from healthcare in Dallas, and I think we'll get a real positive infusion. The neat thing about the healthcare people is that they don't want a healthcare track all by itself. They want it to be infused with uh, with manufacturing and sort of get a just get different insights for what it is they need to be doing, and we'll benefit from that as well. First of all, most organizations are average, but don't realize they're average. Um, if we looked at every, we were talking about hospitals. Let's look at every hospital in North America. Uh, one of the things that's important for them to do is to reduce the rate of infections that are induced that, that happen within the hospital. Well, it's a math fact that 50% of the hospitals are going to be doing another job than the other 50%. The problem is that when people look at how much better they are, they don't look at the context of what's happening uh, outside their business, and so they're thinking, we're so much better than we used to be, not realizing that the rest of their industry moved as well. So the first challenge for leadership is to realize that you're probably not as good as you think you are. The second problem then that people face is the way most people do improvement, and it doesn't matter if it's Lean or Six Sigma or years ago, Total Quality Management. They, I appoint you, Robin, to be my CI person. You're in charge of improvement, and I want you to go fix things. Uh, meanwhile, I'm running the business. Uh, I think that these things are going to mesh together and work well, but in fact, we end up with parallel worlds. So you improve things, I'm running the business, and unfortunately, the stuff that you're improving isn't really helping me change my competitive position. So we get better, but we didn't work on the important things. First is a clear focus and customer value. Uh, John Izzo, when he gave his keynote speech, said if we don't have a great strategy, nothing else matters, and it's so true. Uh, when Colleen Abdullah uh, gave her keynote speech, she talked about totally focusing on the customer, and not only the customer, but focusing on good customers um, that we can grow with, that in some instances we should actually fire customers. So I, I need the customer value proposition to be crystal clear. The executive team can have different interpretations of it. And if we don't know what that is, you, we couldn't possibly be improving the right things. The second thing was a theme throughout this conference, which is the way we engage people. If you made a mistake, are you encouraged to be open and say that, oh my goodness, this mistake happened, uh, and we go in and we try to fix it? Or if I made a mistake, do I really want to try to hide it and hope that, I hope somebody catches it, but I hope they don't know that I did it. <laughs> um, it needs to be safe for me to be able to come forward. Um, I'm really looking at it. We talked a lot throughout this conference in, uh, I mean, AME itself is a shared learning. So that we're really looking to gain insights from the mistakes that we've made and what it is that we can learn from that to prevent those mistakes from arising in the future. Whereas what most people do, if they see a problem, what you immediately want to do is fix the problem. Um, and, and we all want the problem to go away, but a deeper thought, it, uh, uh, an elite organ, let's just think of athletes. The most, at, most athletes are not elite. There's just a handful that are elite. The same thing is true in the world of performance improvement. Only a handful of organizations are truly elite. And an elite organization in this is not gonna say, oh my God, we gotta fix the problem. What they're gonna say is, oh my goodness, our process didn't work the way we thought the process should work. What do we need to do to fix the process? I'm gonna get a deeper fix. And also, it goes back to something Deming said 40 years ago, 
that 90% of all problems in an organization are process problems, not people problems. Well, if I've got an organization that understands that, I'm not going to attack you as a person for this problem. I'm not going to find who to blame. We're going to say, oh my goodness, we designed this process. This thing didn't work the way that we thought it should. How do we fix this process so this doesn't happen again? If you truly believe what, what Colleen Abdullah was talking about, that, that if, if I increase the capability of my people in the organization to do the right thing. I focus on the hows. What are the things that I can do to help my people be a more critical thinker? What are the things that I can do to help them do the right job? The bottom line is going to be there.